Hello, my name is George McLaris. Welcome to the Galaxy Community Conference 2013. What I'm going to do in this screencast is to show you how to install VirtualBox on Windows. VirtualBox is a quite common virtualization solution. It allows you to run a number of virtual machines or VMs, as we say, on your system. Now, during the training day zero, we are going to assume that you're going to have uh, VirtualBox installed, otherwise we're going to help you to install it, and then use VirtualBox to uh, insert uh, an Ubuntu image so that we are able to teach you uh, Galaxy and the Galaxy installation. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install uh, the VirtualBox box environment in uh, my Windows machine. So, I'm going to go to Downloads and then I'm going to choose VirtualBox 4.2.14 for Windows host, so whatever the version is going to be when you download this. In fact, I've already done that, so I'm going to double click on the icon here and I'm going to install the basic environment. Uh, so, we go to the custom setup uh, we can choose actually to install everything and this is what we are going to do here. There is a basic warning here, if you have something uh, that goes across the network, please stop it because during the installation of VirtualBox, network activity is going to be interrupted. So I'm going to press yes and click install. So. This is basically going to install the VirtualBox environment. I'm going to say yes here. It might take a bit of time as uh, your PC might be busy doing other things and that's the case with me and I'm going to say yes proceed with installation And that's all it takes to install the Oracle VM VirtualBox environment. So I'm going to click Finish and then if all is well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the basic graphical user environment of uh, the VirtualBox manager. Uh, one of the first things to do that's worth doing is to go through Preferences and then we see here different operational parameters of uh, of the virtual box environment one very important one on the general uh, section here is where the virtual box environment is going to store your virtual machine images which means the files that we're going to import as these files are, are usually large in the order of several gigabytes at least it's worth making sure that you have enough space in your hard disk and your computing environment so uh, I'm going to actually make sure that I do it I, I point VirtualBox to use a new volume here uh, volume D and then I'm going to say OK another important parameter is the network here um, we can actually add different networking options here um, depending on what we want to do and this is basically how we can uh, ensure that our uh, we can communicate with the virtual machine from the host operating system which is going to be our Windows operating system environment, whereas the guest operating system is going to be the Ubuntu Linux environment. So if I click on the preferences here, I'm just going to note that 
is going to have this IP version 4 address 192.168.65.1. This particular IP address is uh, internally routed and this is the IP address, make a note of it, uh, whichever IP address you have in, in your case, uh, that we're going to use to reach the Ubuntu virtual machine from our Windows environment. Okay, um, having said that, this there's nothing else that you need to tweak here, so I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to demonstrate the next essential bit, which is uh, the import of the virtual machine image. Um, if we go to uh, the installing and maintaining a local Galaxy server, that's uh, actually in the within the, the program of the GCC 2013 website. So you go from the main web page and then you click on program. Then you go to training day zero, which is, uh, this is our session here, installing and maintaining a local Galaxy server. And then you will see that we have a virtual machine image link, one on two sites, one in Norway, where uh, it's this site here, an FTP server ftp.no.mnet.org slash galaxy slash images and there's also the US Galaxy uh, repository which is uh, uh, has essentially the same image so the name of the image is basicworkshop.ova for uh, virtual box appliance so um, this is the file that you need to download in your laptop Make sure you have enough space. Uh, this is another image that you're going to use in other workshops during the Galaxy conference. So overall, let's say that you need to have at least 20 to 22 gigs of free disk space um, in your laptops in order to be able to work properly. Okay. What I've done, as it takes a bit of time to download the uh, multi-gigabyte image, I've already downloaded my image into another volume here. So um, I'm going to make sure that my Galaxy, uh, sorry, my, that my VirtualBox manager is able to see this particular image. So I'm going to import it and I choose from the file menu Import Appliance. Then I'm going to go Open Appliance. I'm going to point to the place where I have my image and that is my D volume. I'm going to left click on the Basic Workshop OVA image and I'm going to open it. And I click Next. Immediately I should be able to see uh, the appliance settings. Well, the name is surprise surprise GCC 2013 Workshop. Uh, image. It's an Ubuntu image. It has two CPUs and one gig of memory and these are its basic settings. So I'm going to press OK Import. OK, this is the very final step that you need to do in order to import the image properly. Depending on the speed of your computer and um, whether you are in a virtual environment like I am here. So, <laughs> in fact, I'm installing a, a virtual machine environment inside a virtual machine. So things are a bit slower for me. It might be faster for you. But don't be surprised if the importing appliance step takes uh, anything between 10 to 20 minutes in your system. Now that the installation has finished, all we have to do is to press Start in order to actually start our Ubuntu virtual machine. That's the point where you should have reached in order to follow us in the tutorial. Thanks for watching.